Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Going to bring you an update video on our FJ Cruiser bug out vehicle project we've been working on, and just kind of want to show you kind of where we're at with it and and so forth. I've got quite a few other little things I'm going to do to it, uh, but I thought I'd uh, give you a little update. And this is for the prepping and survival people, but it's also for the FJ Cruiser guys, just to kind of look at some uh, modifications and some upgrades and stuff I've done. So I'm going to kind of do a uh, start on the outside and work my way around and uh, then we'll get in the vehicle here in a minute so on the front you'll notice I've got the ARB bumper that uh, I got I talked about before I've recently added these cube lights up front here they um, they're now hooked up a nice gentleman uh, locally helped me uh, do those and hook them up I've got uh, some other lights that he's gonna help me hook up I've got the Smitty Belt XR, uh, XRC 9500 winch, uh, great little winch for the money, I got that at a good price. Talked about the limb risers before, um, got these up there, got my 52 inch light bar, uh, this is that eBay special I talked about with the eBay uh, brackets. Uh, some people have complained about the brackets in the past, I don't get that. Um, so far these brackets have been excellent for me, uh, no issues at all, they hadn't cracked broke you know rusted anything like that so seem heavy duty they're pretty thick metal uh, not had any issues and keep in mind that the uh, light bar is not that heavy so it's not like these brackets are under a lot of stress to begin with so I don't know why people would have problems with them but uh, anyway um, I added these um, wind vents right here these right here have been excellent uh, helped me get uh, ventilation through the vehicle without a bunch of wind noise and uh, so forth it also helps with guarding from the sun because they are um, tinted i've got my axe and my shovel up top with my homemade mounts that i've talked about before and then if you look up top i've got my uh, x bull uh, traction mats up there i've got the rear light bar up here that uh, guys if you've got an fj cruiser that's a mandatory uh, backing up at night especially in the woods or a tight area that thing lights up uh, the area really well um, i can back up just as easy i can in the daylight uh, because it uh, i can use my side mirrors and everything else that that's an excellent thing to have uh, plus it's able uh, if you're working behind your vehicle maybe set up camp or something it helps with lighting up your area um the uh, antenna, this right here is one of the fire stick antennas on a heavy duty spring. Um, the heavy duty spring's necessary uh, so it doesn't keep, you know, uh, blow, you know, way over while it's uh, driving and things. I don't like the bandy mount, that's just me personally. I don't think it grounds real well compared to something like this and grounding is key uh, when you're trying to get good radio uh, reception and stuff with a CB so I use the uh, stainless I think this right here is made by fire stick also that mount there zombie outbreak response team badge so kind of show you what I got going on here um, I've kind of put this netting up um, it does okay I may wind up redoing this with something a little more permanent um, that's mounted I hadn't decided just yet uh, but some recovery gear and some basic gear um, I've got 50 foot of rope I think that's 50 foot of rope I can't remember um, but anyway this right here is more for recovering of people not so much vehicles um, but I've got rope in case you need to help somebody get out of somewhere maybe stuck in the water whatever I'll use use rope I've got a collapsible bucket some gloves um, collapsible traffic cone some nice heavy duty leather work gloves in behind here this right here is an ARB um, winch apron or dampener uh, it's called you put it on your winch line when you're using it to in case it would break it will uh, stop the winch line from snapping back and hitting somebody or hitting something um, so it's just a safety feature another recovery strap uh, first aid kit here uh, I've got another recovery strap. I've got uh, down here, I've got um, one of the jump boxes in this bag here I did a review about. This box here is um, dedicated to tools and equipment for the vehicle itself, extra bulbs, things like that, fuses, um, hoses, whatever is all in this one. Uh, this right here is my... Uh, crap hits the fan box it's got my bug out bag in it it's got a long gun in it it's got a lot of things going on to uh, help with uh, if you need it so got that back there 
this bag here is just kind of uh, got extra crap in it that didn't fit somewhere uh, i want like i said i may redo this area i hadn't decided if i'm gonna build a platform just yet or what i'm gonna do but i i'm kind of on the fence about it and i'll well if i decide to do something i'll discuss why i decided to do what i did um I mounted this permanently. This is a 50 cal ammo can. It just holds some basic uh, recovery gear and things like that in there. I got some bow shackles, what have you. Um, it was better than this thing just uh, sitting back here. I just felt like this right here's work. I put the FJ Cruiser uh, Distressed logo on it. Thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, got that going on. If you look down here, I've got a bow shackle uh, and mounted into my receiver hitch that uh, helps with recovery and things like that if you need it spare tire this right here uh, is a matching spare tire i run the kanadi mud hogs and uh, these are excellent tires this is my second set uh, i've talked about this in other videos normally what i do is i run a mud tire down to halfway and i sell them on craigslist and that way i'm always running fresh good tires uh, the last quarter of a mud tire not really worth anything off-road it just doesn't do well so i keep always uh, run fresh tires on mine these are somebody's going to ask these are 285 70 17s this is uh, done with a level kit no body mount chop so just letting you know and these are stock wheels these are this is an 07 but these are 2010 called eight hole uh, wheels now me personally i couldn't find an aftermarket wheel that i like better than these i thought they looked good uh, to match the vehicle i did paint the center caps black just to kind of give it a little different look but uh, i love these wheels so matter of fact i liked them so much that that i've got two sets of these the original set has started looking a little dingy but nothing too bad but i found a set of brand new ones in the box that i bought to replace the old ones and just because i like the look of this wheel and i couldn't find an aftermarket that i liked any better so there you go uh, i'll go over here and show you something real quick from the passenger side for those of you that uh, know FJ cruisers they have the suicide door configuration so it opens like that so on this side I have um, the uh, gray man tactical molly panel I talked about that before so I have a little survival kit. I have a big thing of pepper spray. I have a, fur, um, a uh, fire extinguisher. I've got a tourniquet along with EMT shears up here and uh, multi-tool here on this side of the vehicle. So it kind of give you some ideas about space. I work out of this vehicle, so I've got some stuff from work in that tote. Um, I've got one of these covers. I cannot remember the, the name of the company that made these covers. Uh, I don't even know if they're still in business or not. They may be, um, but I do have the cover here. And I'll get around the other side and kind of show you what I got going on in, more in the interior. But I wanted to show you from this side um, the Gray Man Tactical Molly panel. So I also changed out these um, for LEDs just standard white I've got LED bulbs in the rear here so I'll show you what I got going on in here uh, CB radio mounted down here I've got a RAM mount for my iPad matter of fact I've got the uh, Kanadi Mudhog website pulled up with some information on it um, I've got this little ball mount here this is the night eyes goes to your phone like that and it just magnets up there pretty simple and easy allows you to drive hands-free um, CB radio and then I've got the mount that uh, the microphone mount that I've shown before uh, this right here is one of the ones that I made that mounts into your vent makes it easy and easy to do uh, my ham radio is down here i just got the microphone right here pretty easy because i don't use it a whole lot i use the cb a lot more um, i've got an external speaker here hooked up to the cb that allows me to hear the cb a little better over here cold fire tactical fire suppression system uh, here 
this right here is an excellent product uh, if you're not i did a video about it you can also research it uh, this stuff works really well and uh, so forth got some patches up here uh, i've got a little boo-boo kit that boo-boo kit just keeps me from having to dig through my first aid stuff just for a band-aid or some advil or something like that so i've got that up there uh this one uh, is the fj with the off-road package so it comes with the gauges up top and so forth and if you got any guys got any questions about what i've done or anything feel free to ask in the section below i'll be glad to answer it um this right here is a my medic first aid kit um, i kind of wanted a first aid kit on both sides so this right here is kind of a grab and go more so than the one on the back uh, area i've got my mounts for my ar-15 if i want to mount my ar-15 back here and then i've got this specialty light that i've talked about before i did a video about this one i uh, can't think of the name of it right off but i've done a video about it uh, they sent it for us to review and again gray man tactical molly panels these things are excellent guys and that's what i was talking about the back side uh where the netting is um i thought about maybe getting gray man tactical to figure out some type of uh molly panels for the back of uh fj so i may switch that out and do that so i'll show you under the hood i also switched out and I, i've done a video about the led these are the last fit uh, is the brand led lights excellent lights they work great talked about the limb risers in the past did a video about those um few things in under here this is kind of kind of blingy but it's not purpose uh, uh for any purpose other than just looks a little nicer i've got the trd uh oil cap i've got this little red battery top here and if you looked all my stuff's wire loomed and uh, so forth for my lights and all that if you look back there i have a uh, pa speaker that's hooked to my cb radio so i can talk by the pa if i want to look over here this is the uh, air armor uh, m240 air compressor that i've done a video review about i did about a series of three videos with that i run a k n filter i've recently changed the plugs again um, i changed them when it was just over a hundred thousand um, for whatever reason i don't even know why other than just ignorance i wound up using auto light spark plugs don't make that mistake like i did make sure you just go to toyota and get you some denso uh, plugs uh, you're going to pay about $25 for the whole set from a Toyota dealership hard to beat so and I'll tell you this much it ran uh, it runs better uh, with the factory plugs more so than the auto lights or some fancy crap so just just get the, the factory plugs they're fine uh, that's what you need it's got better throttle response and idle and everything in my opinion cranks easier what have you um, Toyota filter I either run mobile one or Toyota filters and last time I was at the Toyota dealership I just bought like five of them so um, I'm religious about my maintenance on this F on this FJ and really all my vehicles even my wife's so especially if you have a purpose-driven vehicle that is designed for you know out you know overlanding and things like that or you're going to be in remote areas or you're going to use this thing kind of as recovery vehicles during emergencies stuff like that uh you know disaster preparedness whatever you need to make sure your maintenance is up to date all the time so i'm always constantly changing belts hoses whatever just making sure that i've got everything that's nice and fresh and um, i keep it nice and clean even though it does go off-roading i try keeping everything clean keep mud out of it whatever as soon as it gets uh, dirty i wash and scrub it and make sure it's all back clean um, mud and dust and dirt can really play havoc on your parts uh, of your vehicle so i did a video i did change the horn back some time ago but i've changed it back to stock uh for whatever reason i couldn't get that thing to work exactly right so i wound up just taking it back off and not using it so it is what it is um one little trick i do uh, i put this on all my vehicles um if you notice this is 14 millimeter 5w30 that tells me i don't have to dig around trying to figure out what because uh, i can't ever remember what uh, size socket i need so i just put it up there so when i go to get all my stuff together to uh, change mole i know i need a 14 millimeter and make sure i get 5w30 fluid uh 5w30 used to be written on the factory one but since i've changed to this one um it's not on there anymore so obviously i don't know what it is so there you go
But anyway, guys, just kind of wanted to show you around um, and kind of where I was at. There's a few things I'm going to do. Uh, one thing I'm getting ready to do here in the real near future is I'm going to add a jerry can holder for the roof rack. And uh, I'll start making some other upgrades. Uh, somebody, I may have said this in the video earlier, I can't remember, but it is it got a three inch level kit, no body mount chop. So, and it doesn't rub or anything. And like I said, this right here is the factory wheels with 285, 70, 17 tires. So anyway, guys, I uh, just kind of wanted to bring you the update. If you got any questions, you can post those below. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. Uh, it's down there in that section. Also down in that section is the share button. Make sure you share our content. Helps us get the word out about Guns and Gear Network and spread the word about our channel. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.